Well, we're back here now at the Greater Michigan Construction Academy, and we're joined by Eric, who is the carpentry instructor, and he's going to show us how to build a wall, essentially, right? Yes. Yep. All right. We're going to mock up a wall today uh, as if we were going to build it and put it in one of our houses. So um, after we've cut our lumber here, the next thing we're going to do is figure out our layout mm. uh, for our studs that we have here. Okay. Uh, this wall we're going to build is going to be 16 inches on center. Sure. So I'm going to give you this tape here. We'll pull it out. You'll see where these red marks here are actually really nice on the tape. It already shows you 16s and 32s and wow. four foot. Nice. So three quarters of an inch is okay. because we want our studs to be 16 inches on center. So make a mark there. Okay. And we'll do the 32 <laughs> here as well. So three quarter. Okay, so we don't have to do the ends. We know we're going to put a stud on the ends of these. We're going to take our framing square. Okay. This is actually an inch and a half, which is the same thickness as of our material. Sure. Okay. So this is why we didn't have to make our mark. We know we're going to the end. Make a nice dark line right there so we can see it when we're nailing these together. And put a big X right there on both of them. Nice big X. That's where our studs are. Nice job. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna need, it looks like four studs. We've got one, two, three, four. Yep. Four of these studs to nail off. So when we do a wall, we are always gonna do what we call crowning our uh, lumber, crowning the studs. We do it for floor joists or anything. Um, the crown is, we always put crown up. For floor joists, you wanna crown up because when people are walking on things, you uh, want it to actually hold some of that structural support. Yeah. You don't wanna have it down. Right. With our wall, the reason we crown is so that if there is a crown, if there's a little bit of a bow, they all face the same so you don't see any waves down an interior wall. I'm gonna let you take a look. The crown would look a little, sometimes they're very straight. If you see one, you go, oh no, that looks straight. It should have a hump on, and, and if you see one, check the other side to see if it has the, the dip as well. Okay. So what's it look on that side? Looks straight to me. Okay, check the other side. How's that? Do you see any dipping or any? Yeah, I see oh, some dipping. This one's dipping, so yep. we're gonna use the other side. Oh. Okay. So that's crown up there. So we'll set that one right there. Okay. And so I'm gonna keep my hand way back here. Okay. And I'm gonna hold these flush. You're gonna put a nail there and there. Ooh. Nice job. One more. Nice job. So we got one more stud to go. Here we go. All right. Nice job. Wow. I will say you're hired and you can help me build my next house. <laughs> well, I would job. love to help you build your house as long as you help me build mine. Deal. Agreed? You okay, got a deal. Good. <laughs> well, Eric, yes, Eric, thank you so much for teaching me how to build a wall, essentially. Uh, who knew? It's not actually not that hard. Well, if you guys are looking for a construction trade, you know how, where to find it. Come to the Greater Michigan Construction Academy. Thank you again to you all.